Hey kids, Ham and Cheese back here with you again today. And for today's video, before we begin the project, we're going to do a shameless plug for the new affiliate link store that we're building here for the channel. Now, there's two reasons for this. The first is we're going to try to offset some costs over here and at the same time bring you the cool stuff that we play with and things that we find interesting and help you keep it cheap and easy just like me in the process. The other flip to that is Mrs. Ham and Cheese has informed us that if we want to continue to play YouTube along with Ham Radio and all the other expensive hobbies that we have in life, we're going to either need to A, generate some revenue, or B, go harvest from the money tree. Well, unfortunately, money trees aren't seasoned in Ham and Cheese land, so generate revenue it is. And that's the purpose of today's shameless plug. And, of course, the first item that we're going to plug shamelessly is none other than the Gardner Bender GS388 crimping pliers. You've seen these before on the channel. We've had these on our Tools on a Budget video. We've featured these in the Power Pool on a Budget video and some other ones as well. These are a fantastic little tool. I keep a pair here in the shack that I'm certain is older than Taylor Swift's career. I have a pair in the go box, I have a pair in the car, I have a pair in the shed, and in the shop and some other places as well. What's nice about these is they feature a cutting dike, nice razor sharp, real easy to work with, a 14 to 22 gauge crimp, 10 to 12 gauge crimp, and a round hole crimp. And that round hole is what allows us to get a lot of stuff done outside of these two for things like making those nice clean connections to our power pool inserts and things like that. Um, also, these are featured on Amazon right now on sale, $11.10 for them, 49% savings. So go over there to our link, which you'll find on the community tab of our channel, click on it and buy yourself a pair and help support the cause here. All right, with that, let's go ahead and get into today's video. And today's video is going to be a very simple, quick build. This is going to be a portable two meter mast or antenna mast rather for two meters, 70 centimeters, so on and so forth. It's mainly designed for VHF, UHF work, but what's nice about it is it's packable. It can be put into a canvas bag or a nylon bag. It can all be thrown into a backpack. You could build an entire go kit with this if you had to, and the list goes on and on and on. Applications for this would be things such as MCOM, areas in ACS work. You can do things like communication support for things such as marathons in a city. You could do a field day station with this real easy. Or if you're brand new to this hobby, and your Mr. or Mrs. hasn't allowed you to have a shack of your own yet, you can build one of these so you can get that first old mander you just got for Christmas up and running, and you can participate in your local nets and have some fun with us as well. Uh, one other thing I thought about too is you guys that are Homeowners Association or HOA, where you're not allowed to have permanent stuff, this would be a nice little temporary thing for you as well if you don't play radio every day. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at today's ingredients list. And we're going to have two parts to this. We're going to have the base and we're going to have the mast. And for the base, it's very simple. We're going to start with four 90 degree elbows, just like so. We're going to need four couplers. We're going to need two T's. We're going to need one cross, and then we're going to need two 45 degree elbows, but these are going to be one inch elbows. As you can see, they're a little bit bigger in length. And then last but not least, we're going to need 10 12 inch sections of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Just like so. All right, like I said, very quick, very easy to put together. So all you do is just start assembling. Grab yourself an elbow, grab yourself a coupler, grab yourself another piece of pipe, 
and you've already got your first one assembled. And of course the elbow would go on the end there. So that'll be one side of your base. The other side will feature the T in the middle, like so. And you'll see why that is. So you'll have two couplers, two T's. And each one will be 24 inches in length to form a nice square, which you'll understand why that is here in a minute. Okay? So the other section is going to be our cross member, and this is what's going to actually support the mast. And for that, we're going to have our two elbows, the 45s. We're going to have the cross. And we're going to have two couplers. Okay? And all this is very simple. One piece together. One piece together. One coupler. Two couplers. And there you have it. Okay? And then what you're going to do from these ends that you've created, you're going to put your drop piece down in and this will be your support and then that at the end will fit to the T just like so. Alright, let's take a look at this assembled and see what it looks like. Alright kids, so here it is, the completed build and as you can see it's a two foot by two foot square. There's our couplers, our 90s, our T's, and of course the cross and you can see why we used the cross that comes together for an opening at the bottom for our coax and also supports the start with the mast and we go up one two three four and oh look at that there it is our cheap and easy two meter ground plane from the last video which I'll link into the description of this as well and there it is nice and simple the whole thing takes less than five minutes to put together it's easily broken down. The whole thing weighs probably two pounds at most, if that. And you can pack it into your backpack. You can put it in a canvas bag. You could lash it to your backpack then or whatever you need to do with it. You want to keep it so it doesn't tip over. All you need is a little bit of weight on it. Maybe a couple rocks in the corners. And that's simply what all you would need. Chances are if you're doing summits on the air, you're going to be able to find rocks pretty easy. Or if you're going to set it up for field day or something like that, maybe throw a pound bag of shot or something like that on it. So there it is. Our cheap and easy antenna mast. Like I said, comes together quickly, breaks down quickly, and we're on our way. Alright kids, take care. Thanks for watching. 7-3.